Hello viewers and welcome to another video. This is JJ World and in today's video, we are going to take a look at cross-sectional drawing in geography map work. We will also try to understand what a cross-section actually is, how to draw a cross-section and the purposes for drawing cross-sections. If you are watching this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel as well. So, what do we understand by a cross-sectional drawing? A cross-sectional drawing is a drawing that projects how the inside of an object or an area on a piece of paper will look like after a cut has been made across it. So what this means is that when you look at an object from the top, that is from the bird eye view, you will only see the top part of the object. And to see one full side of the object, a cut has to be made across it to project a full side of the object. All right. Let's use an orange for example. When you have an orange, okay, an orange like this. And you look at the orange from its top part, okay? This is how the top part of the orange would look like. Let's assume that at this stage you are unable to see the orange fully or you are unable to see the full side of the orange except for its top part, okay? To see one side of the full orange, a cross section has to be made. We will have to take a knife, okay, and cut this orange from the top part to the bottom. This is how the orange would look afterwards. With the other half somewhere here. The drawing right here is the cross section of the orange. It is a cross section because the drawing reveals to us how the inside of the orange looks like after we used our knife to cut through it. Okay, so that is the cross section of the orange. Similarly, we can also draw cross sections of areas or objects on maps. And just as we did to our orange, first of all, we draw a line, say line AB, across the area of the map. All right. Then we take a piece of paper, a straight one, of course, and place it carefully on the line. So, what we'll do next is to write down the heights or the numerical values of all the contour lines. On the piece of paper we've put on the line okay that is what we are going to do to write those numbers those contour numbers we are seeing on the lines you write them correspondingly on the sheet of paper we've placed on the line all right so this is how the paper looks like after the value of each contour has been written down okay what we do next is to transfer these values onto a graph. Okay, so that's what you are going to do. And this is where we are going to draw the side view of the objects on the map. Okay, yes. So once again, we, we place our strip of paper on the graph, okay? So we are going to place it on the line AB. Once again, we, we, we place the strip of paper containing our contour values on this line so that we'll be able to draw the points on the graph yes that's what you are going to do all right so while keeping the paper in line with line a b we move the paper up to the first numerical value or to the first numerical contour value which is 100 okay so we move it up to the 100 column and draw a point there yeah so 
one point here, another point there. We then move it up again to the second control value, which is 200. So we have 200 here and 200 here too. Then we move it to 300, same, same. 400 and 500. After making these points, okay, we are going to draw a line through them, through these points. That is what we are going to do so that it will reveal to us the inside of the objects. So we draw a line through the points and this is what we have. All right, that's it. So what we've done here is that we're able to project, okay, an object on a map, an object that seemed to be so flat on a map, we've been able to project a side view of it so that we'll understand how the object on the map looks like in real life, okay? So it's just like our orange, which was divided into two. We divided that object on the piece of paper or on the map to show ourselves how the inside of the object or mountain or whatever area that is on the map looks like in real life. So this is the inside of the object we did a cross section on. All right. I hope you understand this. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you.